Welcome everybody, here's your strategy wolf and welcome back to Old World and our Carthaginians in the Carthaginian campaign and welcome back to Bommelkar the Enlightened. Uh, we are in turn 79 of 100 in this very first scenario and we've fulfilled 11 goals already and we just need one more which is the professional army to get the epic victory which we of course want to achieve in here and yeah so I don't know if this is gonna be might be one of the last ones uh, we have to see how fast we can proceed and um, I don't want to waste too much time since we're basically just hunting down these last achievements anymore um, we have a pretty nice and extended Carthaginian realm at this moment we're trying to avoid the war with the Numidians because basically we need just the uh, professional army and just for a little reminder to get there we just need to get to um, um, Manor. Oh, <laughs> something, something. Oh, we have basically two, uh, two years to go. Uh, so we shall see. This might be a very short episode today. Um, did something speed up magnificently last time? I'm surprised it just takes this long, or I didn't have a correct look. Anyways, <clears throat> let's jump in and let's go for it. Um, and then we shall see how we proceed. If with scenario two or something else, we will see. Okay, Isbal has fallen. It'll probably be, by the way, more because we don't have the civics for to enact the law, but alright. A patriarch has died. Um, yeah, some changes in the religion. That's okay. Oya, we need a new trade for her. I mean, camps and nets. Oya, let's do it properly, has one net. And how many camps? One. That's a pasture, not even a camp. So, yeah, inspiring. We don't... Oh, we want the extra uh, civics, even if it's 0 0.9 per turn. Let's give her that charisma, this one. All right, over here we've built on the sorghum, we've built our um, plantation. So let's, yeah, get the camp out. Over here we want to, yeah, just build them. Ah, we just built the garrison, so let's get the nets out. All right, that leaves us with not that many activities to do. Um, actually, you can just hold your position of reconnaissance. That's absolutely fair for me. And you guys can't go any further anyway. So we've checked out everything, right? The sea is entirely clear. By the way, thank you for the comment that let me know uh, that you can absolutely easily see here our anchor ships. Even two are fine. So I, I guess it's really like a three radius around them. Would have been through. So one wouldn't have been enough. Okay, I think I understand now. Um, thanks you for thank you really for pointing that out. Uh, has been helpful for me. <laughs> okay, and here's nothing to really check out. So what? Why? Well, uh, I feel like we don't have, we can actually waste these um, these movements. Let's still, yeah, get the oligarch Ashtanut the younger in here. Even if she's not that young anymore. Yeah, why not? Or actually not, since this costs 100 civics, actually then we're gonna save it up, uh, I don't wanna waste this. And what else is to do? Anything is important? Over here we finished an apprentice. Oh, let's get the elephant trapper out. Now I'm getting a little bit, yeah, not very thoughtful, but you know, at this point I kind of wanna get over it. We, you can stay here and let's go to the next turn. Uh, my daughter has grown more conf confident and charming. She has gained plus one charisma. Okay. And some tutoring worked out. And we did the manor. So we will be able to get militias stronger. No, militias will become um, conscripts, I guess. Yeah, conscripts. We get the we can enact the professional law uh, things and volunteers. And that's basically it, right? Yeah, so we are about to get our... Epic victory in any time. And from now on, I feel like it's kind of free. We can get the free chariot, but I still don't know if we can take on our current status of gaming into the next scenario if we continue with this one. I highly doubt it from a technical perspective. If so, uh, it would be cool. And like for immersion, also for um, then it would be interesting to consider what we're doing right now. Um. I think I go for sovereignty just in case. Uh, we'll see what happens. Like mother, like son. You have noticed that for better or for worse, Duke Martin is showing signs of taking after his mother, Prince uh, Sapanal. Yeah, he's witty. All right. Uncuff. 
Unkauf? Unkauf. Okay. Uh, is it like you want to have a lot of partners? Let me know if you uh, uncalf or have to look it up. Probably I will forget about it by the end of this recording, but okay. Creatures of the Coast. Uh, whether the message arrives from distant lands is from Shamje, who has been traveling far beyond our borders. She is in need for urgent aid. Shamje's expedition has reached wild, undiscovered lands to the west, but is now stranded. Ferocious undersea beasts lo uh, block passage home. She wishes to know which ship should be highest priority, those carrying native laborers or those bringing rich western metals. Alright, um, and the metals we definitely don't need. Bring it all back, whatever the cost. Um, she becomes doomed. I mean, she could become doomed. The Shamshir, the, the Magunits lovers, anyways, come on. Let's, let's do this. Two citizens, super nice. Or we become enlightened. No, actually, we become enlightened. So I'll go with the, this one. Save the settlers and laborers. Alright. Weak will. A lot of events this turn. Oligarch Ashtonat the Younger of the Magonid family accuses you from possessing a weak will with regard to your subject. What next? Freedom for the beasts of the field, for the sheep in the pastures? She leaves you with a warning. Put the people in their place or the court will force your hand. Uh -huh, slavery? No, we don't want slavery, right? There was a freedom is the op opposite, yeah. The one we just wanted to make a governor, right? The Ashi, I will not respond to empty threats. Yeah, that's true. Okay, the scientist over here. We become uh, The governor becomes intelligent. And we are missing, so two turns missing, basically, to get the civics out, since where we can enact professional army. Yeah. I think there's no other way than waiting to get quickly these uh, in. In the meantime, let's finalize them. Okay, they want to the range over here um, let's do it let's build the range over here why not um, and another hamlet sure and always like the hamlets out here get another hamlet out I could do missions but I will not because it costs me oh, okay this is fine so I will tutor because this doesn't cost me civics. And over here we finalize the fissure. So let's get the gardener in. So get some incense into our pockets and go for the next year. All right. Um, your cousin have fallen ill, severely ill, having a blood uh, illness is spreading once again. Um, somebody has died. And Tankape became more happy, wonderful to see. Um, we researched the sovereignty already in one turn, wasn't it two two that was proposed? Nevertheless, let's do administration, then let's catch up with some technologies just in case. Tracking, yeah, the commander of one of our warriors formations has received numerous reports of raiders prowling the nation's roadways. He seeks the court support to root out these villains and restore security. Um, yeah, I track and kill these outlaws we have. The orders is not a problem at the moment at all. Our son and chancellor. Gains wisdom. And over here are with a couple of uh, workers free. Alright. That's the one next to every resource, right? It's ten. Oh, come on, let's... Don't care too much about details, uh, get some shrines out and some things over here. I don't know why here, why the hamlet is being suggested over here, not here, but yeah, then once again we'll repeat and get a hamlet out. Over here we've got the Tanit shrine, I think here we can nice, nicely get it out here. Alright, here the lumber mill. Uh, let's get the grocer out. I think Hadrometum is anyone, anyways, the richest city, right? Oh, we don't have enough wood, so we've got to buy some. No problem. Pressing Alt, you can always, if you didn't know, pressing Alt, you can always just automatically buy the missing stuff if you've got the money. And over here, yeah, a quarry. This is a nicely positioned one. Why not? Investing in some baseline stuff here and there is not a bad idea. The acolyte is comp complete, so yeah, balls it's going to be. And 
that's it for this oh we've got luxuries to send but i think they also cost olives okay can we provide them oh no it's only okay the hanonets get their olives that they want so badly wonderful because it just does cost us orders and no civics so one perfect oh yeah uh oh so many let's get the stone cutter the gardener and let's end the year so if nothing goes wrong all right here we are my time is and the end is near but and bomilka the enlightened will be our last king also since um we're definitely gonna get the free turret at elephant theoretically in in five years so this is a special unit i guess of the carthaginian so just because of this i would like to have it but it's not gonna matter same here with the governor of takape um let's make a charismatic local brigands Uh, in a piece of good news, the formation of warriors we sent to protect Aya. Uh, yeah, Rhodes has claimed victory. In a heated battle, they killed most of the bandits and chased any survivors into the wilderness. They also recovered a catch of stolen goods. Um, yeah, some money. Enchanting conversation. Uh, are we not carnal? Okay, we're taking our rest. We are, we are suffering already. Our cities. Members of the Magonet wish to meet with the council in private away from prying eyes. Privately, they present a list of complaints and grievances, threatening to oppose future policies and the treatment of their family does not change. As recompense, they demand that we give them full authority over the city of Are Philemonorum. Um, to be honest, what were the Magonets, the ones with the siege units, mines and lumber mills? could be done in the end it doesn't really matter they are the least happy at the moment uh, let's come on let's do it why not it's not such a big of a deal oh now they are very unhappy so we should maybe do something about it but uh we reached a point where we can have the 400 civics we've got um with the research done and uh, let me where are we yeah, here and we need to enact professional army that's not not misclicked yeah, and let's get it out. Boom, there we go. Victory achieved epic. So I think... Okay, getting some achievement in here. One epic victory. And here we are, the end screen. Crowds gather near the great harbor of Kartadash to hear you speak. The Carthaginian nations... <laughs> it's coming in, yeah. Has met every goal it sought to pursue over the past century. From humble beginnings striking out at local oppressors to be a burgeoning empire with aspirations of dominating the whole of the Mediterranean Sea and beyond. No obstacle has proven able to slow our advance. Soon our navies will venture forth to establish our hegemony over all the world's great sea trading lanes. Our reward will be wealth beyond imagining. Alright, we won the game and let's see what... Show me how this came timeline. History remember these record stream stats. Stay in the game. Exit campaign menu. I feel like we will definitely start something new. And uh, all right, let's because it's the we still have some let's say time in this episode. Let's take some anyways. <clears throat> have a look at these certain things. Um, can we just? Oh yeah, here you see our development. I mean, in this case... That's quite nice to see how we grew into the east, uh, defeated the Libyans, expanded, discovered. However, I think this doesn't really... You can get a gift also, well, for your... For my feed. <laughs> for the Strategy Wolf Instagram. No, it's not out there in case you're looking hectically right now. Not yet. <laughs> uh, all right. And here, what can what else can we graphs? Uh, I mean, it's a pretty. It's, I, I kind of consider this probably it's kind of a tutorial campaign. I'm not sure because it was kind of easy. You don't have real enemies, just the um, the, the tribes out there. Um, growth, okay, growth production, civics. Yeah, but this is the civic stash, right? Because you can. Now the per turn okay, this must have changed with a uh, with a different ruler that granted us way less. Okay, 
happiness, science, money. So these are basically all our productions. Okay, yeah, wood. <laughs> Oh, I've never seen the resource price screen. Kind of interesting, considering I feel like I've never bought food, but maybe the, the tribes, I'm not sure. Yeah, well, uh, um, I feel like these, at least like in this scenario, these stats or information, so take a pause in the video if you want to see that. Um, if you want to see something is not really taking me to a different level or giving some extra information to you guys out here. So yeah, I feel like I'm gonna... Before we end, let's have some words from my side. Um, so, I highly recommend the scenario to people actually that are new to Old World. It helps you in a relaxed manner to get to know some key mechanics, I guess. And in case you're not into Old World now or you haven't played yet and you know you want to take this, I'm happy if you use my Let's Play also as a kind of a tutorial because I feel like I used and here and there I pointed out and called out some tricks and yeah or tips and tricks that i acquired over the last two years so yeah sometimes it's because there's it's a huge rules that there's a lot of mechanics in, in place everywhere so the, the game is massive to understand but you don't even need to understand everything in details just get in and get start playing and i feel for this uh, one this scenario is actually quite nice very well suited uh, however i do sincerely hope that the next one is going to be way more interesting or let's say more competitive or uh, yeah yeah, at least some more tension in here because this was at least last 30 turns was a pretty straightforward victory. I knew already that I'm gonna do it and just had to wait until the other goals were unlocked or to wait until the research was done to enact all this, yeah, the relevant things to do. So, yeah. However, I had great fun. I hoped you had too. So, um,. Even if this Let's Play in the beginning enjoyed not that many viewers, it's kind of growing, so I feel like there's more people into Old World. Let me know what you think, what your experience was with this Let's Play, have you ever had contact with Old World, what, how do you like the game, and so on. I'm really happy to talk about it, so the comments is all yours in case you drop by. In case this was just the first video of this Let's Play that you have seen, uh, there's this entire Let's Play obviously out, so check out the beginning and maybe it's uh, absolutely worthwhile a look for you. So. Happy if you enjoy this and, and thank you for, for watching definitely so yeah great gratitude from me in this point and um, the, the great question will be how we are going to continue with this um, and I don't know by this point yet so actually I, I think this this one might might start Actually, probably before this one airs, I'll announce on, on my community channel a little bit of a... Maybe I'll do a kind of a survey what you'd like to see, because all well is going to continue and what form soever. So, there is the Pharaohs of the Nile DLC out that gives a new campaign. We can definitely also continue this one. I, I haven't seen any of this yet, so I don't know what our next episode or the next scenario looks like. Or we can also jump into a random game like... A, um, where you like civilization, where you've got to explore, not the campaign and so on, you know what I'm talking about. And um, so, yeah, I guess I'm putting out uh, actually a survey to make uh, ask my... There's not going to be that many answers, so actually if you're one of them that's really interested, go and ans answer that survey when you see this, because you're, you're unlike in a lot of elections, your vote has probably a lot of gravity and uh, weight in influencing where this is, one is going. All right, um, before we end this, uh, and we still got tons of time, I mean, that sounded already like me saying goodbye, but no, this time not. Let's go to the um, to the game menu and maybe have a look at the second uh, scenario. So we have, we finished Oxhide. By the way, also there's Heroes of the Aegean in case of you're interested in this one. Um, the Barbarian Horde, haven't heard of this one at all. All right, interesting. The rival mode. All right. Nevertheless, um, this one doesn't really attract me that much. But uh, yeah, we could go for the heroes of the Aegean. We could continue definitely over here, which I also fancy. Or I haven't bought it yet. There's the Pharaohs of the Nile out. I think I must check it out, or it comes out very soon, which is also a possibility. My suggestion would be to continue with the riches and influence, and. Let's, let's have a quick read. Uh, 
continue the rise of Carthage campaign by leading Carthage in its expansion in the Mediterranean. As Tyre, the mother city, is besieged by Babylonian forces, the time has come for Carthage to become the most powerful and richest Phoenician civilization. You may import a safe file from completing the previous scenario, Oxide. Oh, wow! Okay, nice! So, it gets more attractive now. If you import the safe, some of your choices from the previous scenario will be preserved. Family assignment and some city improvements will be carried forward and you may encounter events related to your actions in the previous scenario. Okay, okay, okay. Um, technologies are more expensive. Settlers rapidly increase in cost as you build them. Carefully consider whether settling a new city helps you achieve the game goals. Okay, that's good to remember. And you have access to Sacred Band and Balearic Slingers, historically inspired units unique into the campaign. Okay. And I feel like, I guess we've played with Dido before, but I'm not 100% sure what I, I need to show. I need to check out what I did the last time when we started the Oxide. But to be honest, um, let's have a quick look inside. Uh, um, not simple setup. Let's have a look if I can easily. Is there an? I hope there's a. We kind of didn't use a save to be honest for the last one. I hope there's a um, last turn save or something. Um, this will not be the start of the new campaign already. I'm just having a look into it. Um, six workers, yeah. Scenario info, um, blah, 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 blah. Okay. I'm kind of... Okay, now we're here in a new setup. Okay, oh yeah, and nothing more east. So I feel like we were we are way more advanced than the other one. But it's cool. Now we have Greece in there. This is cool. And Phoenician Islanders. So there's probably something... Ah, okay. So Sicily is getting relevant. And this is probably what I would have assumed since there was, like, especially in this time frame. And I feel like the like, old world seems to be or tries to be historically accurate around this. Um, that's cool. Because in this time frame, there was, like, conflict here in Sicily. A lot of wars, especially between Syracuse and Carthage over the Sicilian. And I uh, was kind of scared. Okay, we've got the Balearics over here. I feel like in the last scenario, the Balearics, this wasn't able to settle or didn't I see it? No matter what, uh, we've got this out here already. Yeah, from what I've expected, I, I was kind of scared that we're gonna jump over a lot of history and start right away with the conflict of Rome, with Rome, but apparently it doesn't. And... Yeah, so this looks pretty interesting for me. Uh, what I would love to see, to be honest, is just the, the question how we can get in the... Uh, yeah, the, 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 the game file. I mean, this is another game, of course. This is, not, this is nothing to do. Let me have a look once in the menu again. The question is also if... if yeah, as I said before, if I have a save file from the end of the for, former campaign... Um, The question is where... Ah, continue from file. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, now you exactly know when I finished. Uh, <laughs> but it's a completed one. Okay, apparently I don't have any other completed scenarios yet. Okay, we loaded it here. So let's have a look how this looks like this time. I have no idea how this affects the balance of the game if, uh, significantly. We're going back into this one, this this choice, and let's see. Ah, the well, looks like nothing has changed significant, at least from the first. Point of view, I don't have all the other cities, but I have the Balearics again. However... I think I just... Sovereignty and administration might have unlocked these things, and these are probably at least... Are the laws that... I researched so far. And the research... Oh, wait, research, research... No, we're lacking. 
Research is new, since we didn't, we don't have mana, mana yet. So there's new stuff to do. Um, what else? Do we have any people around that might this? I feel like this is only if it's only the laws. I mean, these things. No, the resources are the same or look pretty default. Um, our people are also gone, so I actually wonder or yeah, what the difference is. I just feel like the the laws are pretty similar oh, but i'm not even sure about this okay um too much talking i will research this even further and see if i did something wrong about this but now you've seen the start of the game what it's going to be like um i have further thoughts this one i think i will not record any old world before this episode airs so definitely let me know but be quick because i also don't want to let you so much hanging since also uh, victoria is expiring also so i need to kind of rethink how the channel is going to look like these days so let me know in the uh, survey section what you think, what you want to see, what kind of scenario and um, yeah, then hopefully see you with this one. And of course, once again, after <laughs> we, we talked about it already at half of the time, thank you for watching so much and yeah, let me know what you thought about this one. And of course, if you consumed all my episodes and you haven't yet, please leave me a like and a subscription. This helps me a lot and motivates me a lot while it costs you nothing. So thank you very much for this. And yeah. In the meantime, keep on watching. There's also a lot of, uh, not a lot, but all my other Let's Plays out there. So if you only watched Old World, check out, go check out my Crusader Kings, Victoria, or even Strategic Command. And stay alerted um, since, yeah, I've been postponing this for a little bit because things are not clear yet and my no normal life has been wild recently. But I am definitely planning to update you also with a channel news soon and give you some, yeah, some some uh, perspective what is going to happen at this channel and since we're definitely going i'm not not stopping don't you worry so we're going going harder of course and uh i will there will be a lot of interesting things going on soon yeah so thank you for watching very, very much um leave a like and subscription and then just see you next time with the new uh scenario that's coming out soon of old wars bye your strategy wolf